Welcome back, everyone. Today, we are super happy to welcome to studio real talent. Nothing I do is talented, Tim. Nothing. But what you do is amazing. Tim Stevenson is going to be featured with a performance with the Terre Haute Symphony Orchestra this weekend. He is a keyboardist, pianist, and all-around great guy. Thank you for stopping in our studio today. Thanks for having me. So the season is well underway for the Terre Haute Symphony Orchestra, but you're going to bring a little dance and a lot of fun to the performance this weekend. Can you tell me, first of all, about yourself? How long have you been a pianist? So I've been a pianist basically my entire life, yeah. uh, from whenever I can remember. So started when I was about six years old, um, and it grew from there. So now I do it professionally. Um, but I've been here with the Terre Haute Symphony for uh, five years. Five years? Yeah. Yeah. And, and what do you think of all of our community? Pretty great place, yeah, right? Yeah, it's really nice to, uh, to, to see all the things that are going on in Terre Haute every time that I'm here for a concert. Yeah, um, it's growing mm. and it's expanding. And yes. I feel like as it does, the arts expand with it, which I think is very special. So for right. the Terre Haute Symphony to be able to have these kinds of events is pretty awesome. Now, let me ask you this. Um, as you perform as a soloist, is, is that something you normally do or how does that work? Yeah, well, with the Terre Haute Symphony, I'm their principal Um, but for this concert, I'll be right in front of the orchestra, so I'll be sort of in the spotlight um, playing this wonderful concerto that we're doing. And this concerto has a story within itself, right? Yeah, well, it's really a special thing that we're doing. Um, so Florence Price was an African-American composer um, and has connections here in the Midwest. She really got famous with her symphony premiere in Chicago. Um, but this piece is really interesting because it was lost for about 60 years. Wow. Um, and it was discovered in pieces, so the actual score of the piece um, was discovered in an attic in her summer home uh, and sort of reconstructed. And it was just the piano part, so they didn't even have any of the parts for the orchestra. Uh, it actually had to get commissioned, and long story short, uh, people started playing really playing it in the 2000s again. Wow. So, so it's a yeah. special thing when you're a musician and you know you've really captured a piece of history like that. Yeah, yeah. Now, th it's called Dance Around the World for a reason. You're going to take mm -hmm. us literally through scores that are connected to dances, right? Right. Like what yeah. kinds of dances? Yeah, so on this program, uh, there's several pieces that are connected with dance, but this one is really special for me because this is sort of the American part. Uh -huh. And Florence Price, uh, at the end of her concerto, has uh, put in what's called a juba, which is a uh, African-American dance that has ties to plantation times. Wow. Um, and it's sort of like a rag. So if you think of Scott Joplin, like oh, the entertainer yeah. and yeah. Maple Leaf rag, it's like that. So oh my gosh, the whole what? end of the piece is like that ragtime feel. I feel like I'm right now going da 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 yeah, right, da da right. right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. He's yeah. hiring me for later <laughs> later performances. But yeah. truly, it is one of those times, I think, with a symphony, when you add that piano, when you add that element of dance, mm -hmm. it really does, you know, kind of it's pump exciting. you up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so when is it happening? It's it's on Saturday, okay. uh, November 5th, 7.30. This Saturday, yep. folks out there watching right now, you can get your tickets either by visiting the website or you can scan and that QR code that you're seeing on the screen right now, it'll take you right where you need to go in order to get your tickets now for the 7.30 performance at Tilson Auditorium. The website is a great place to visit, not only to get your tickets, but it also reveals all of the other great things that are coming up this season because, once again, the Terre Haute Symphony Orchestra is such a gem in our community and it gives us the opportunity to share the passion and love of music with everybody out there. So THSO.org to purchase your tickets. Hey, next time when you come back, will you bring your keyboard? <laughs> I'm just I'd saying. Love to. Be, that would be fun. It we'll would have be to do fun. That. Yeah. And then you and I could, you know, do a little chops, do chopsticks. Let's do, do it. Yeah. I, I could handle that maybe. <laughs> Thank you good. so much. You're such Thank a talented you. young man. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he wants me to play chopsticks, but it's all good. We want you to go to our website, mywabashvalley.com. Click Steals and Deals under our Community tab. You'll find the Terre Haute Symphony Orchestra where you can get half price tickets for the performance this Saturday. Right there it is, Steals and Deals, mywabashvalley.com. Just click under our uh, Community tab 
and that's where you find steals and deals. Enjoy Half Price. Stay with us. We'll be back.